This picks up from our last video where we just put a whole bunch of things around the place and then changed their names using the outliner. Now we want to render it. To render something in Maya is really simple. You just simply go up here to one of these buttons and you click render. And that will render our view. We can't see anything at the moment because there's no lights. So let's add a light. Go over here to Arnold and these first five or six buttons here are light buttons. We can add any one of these lights in here. The simplest one for us to add for our purposes is this one, physical sky. Once you do that, you can come back in here and click this thing that looks like a little um, action board. Click on that and it will render your scene. And now we'll be able to see something because we've got the sun in our scene. If we want to get closer, we can just zoom in in our view over here and then we can click our render button again and it will show it to us again. Except now, our scene is in a different position. If we want to save this picture because we like it so much, we can go File and Save Image and then just simply save it. If you want, you can click this IPR button. What IPR will do is it will give you an interactive render. That means that when we change our view over here, our render will update to show us that view too. The quality of the render is lower because it's trying to do it fast. Slowly over time, the quality of the render will improve. You'll notice that no matter how you change this viewpoint, you'll always get the render updating to the right place. If for some reason your render stops updating, you can click this button here, which forces the render to redo itself.